So here we are at the start of a brand new chapter of the Start in a Streetwear brand series. So hopefully everything we learned in the previous chapter, we've learned our lessons from, and we can crack on, get some new designs printed, get some new merch put together, and it's gonna be a lot smoother journey, hopefully. This is series two, episode one of Start in a Streetwear brand. So one of the first things I wanted to do to kickstart everything was to get a whole bundle of blanks ordered in. The idea being that I can just store them and then have various designs put together and I can cross test them across different platforms. So for example, I can keep the existing design that I ran the first series with, I can have some old designs that were quite popular back in the day that I just wish I'd have printed. Um, so I can put them into production. Um, and some new ones as well. And I quite like the idea of just going to town on stuff at the moment. So I'm gonna be doing some quite heavy prints, um, lots of sleeve stuff, lots of full front, lots of full back, legs, everything. So I kind of want to approach it in a similar way that people approach like full sleeves um, when it comes to like tattooing and like body art. So I kind of want to do that with streetwear and apparel. I thought it'd be quite a nice thing to explore. And uh, I feel like I've got a whole bank of ideas that I can really push with that. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter because I don't have to get the screens exposed. So I'm gonna try this with all these blanks that I've just ordered in. You can see there's a whole bundle of them here. And that also meant that I had to expand the storage. And uh, this is a little clip uh, that you might enjoy of me installing this thing here above where I've got all my like books and stuff that I wanna keep onto. Um, so this is how the installation of that went. So yeah, unfortunately it was a bit of a shambles. Um, but it's a little bit of a, an opportunity to play around with how this can look. So we can uh, change colors of that as well. So that's all illuminated now. So uh, very YouTube-y. So uh, yeah, have a bit of fun with that. Um, and I've got the, the backlight as well. So I've got a little backlight going on behind the backdrop now, which I think looks quite nice too. But anyway, that's just minor details. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting some stuff put together. I'm gonna crack on, put a new design together. I'm gonna dig out some old ones from the archives as well and put them into production too. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you guys some of the packaging stuff that I've been doing because I didn't do a video about that, but I've been asked quite a lot about it and uh, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys what I've done and how I've approached it. So here we go. So I've gone and ordered these A4 bags from Amazon. There's a link in the description if you wanted to tap them up as well. They've got a nice little frosting to them as well. So it looks quite nice. If I was to send them like that, shipping rates would be a lot higher. So that's how we're able to keep them down. Um, and then I've got these little stickers as well and just been printing them out and sticking them flush with the size on them as well. And the idea being that it's a nice little treatment to have. And I'll show you a close up, but also it's uh, handy to have the sizes put on them as well. So I can just have them all bundled up, put the sizes on them and just get them out and ship them out when they're needed. So that's an opportunity that I'm gonna hopefully get into by having stuff pre-produced because I don't necessarily wanna just print things like one or two one day and then one on another day. I don't really wanna do that. It's not very time efficient. So I would like to get to a stage where I can just print a whole bulk of them and forecast what's going to sell. Or maybe I'll just run some pre-orders and then batch print them. I don't know. I'm still yet to decide on that, but we'll probably get into that in a few episodes time when we've got another little drop going. But either way, I wanted to also say a huge thanks to those of you that have bought some of the merch already. As I said, that's been fully restocked. So if you did want to buy anything, I've got all these blanks so I can just put something together. And if you've got a size that isn't as popular, like extra, extra small or extra extra large just drop me a line and uh we can put that together as a custom piece for you if you don't see your size don't worry it is not that it's not available it's just that it's not that popular so it doesn't make sense to have it on demand so to speak but we can order that in for you so with regards to the labels i've just ordered these hi-vis a4 adhesive sheets and they just run through your printer they're perfect so i just print all the labels out and then cut them down to size and stick them on and it's a really cost-effective way of having a nice high vibrant 
packaging label just stuck on, nice and simple, no messing around. You don't have to send it off to get printed and so on. So when it comes to finishing the garment, I've got loads of things that I do to it. So I've got a load of these size labels and they're all on their own. And then I've got these labels too. So I'm using these currently for the hem tag and as a label in the neck. I then ordered in a load of business cards, but at a different size. So I've got them like this. You could have like a full, full size business card, but this is one third of a business card size. I've then got a little hole punch gun as well, and the link for all these products will be in the description. So just punch a little hole in that, chuck one of these through this gap. So I've got these bulb pins as well. I've got a whole box of them too, so hopefully that'll last a while. So once it's put together, I just put that into the neckline of the garment. Chuck in some stickers too, so I've got some branded black ones and I've got some white ones too. Put them in the A4 bags, fold them up nicely, put the labels on, and that's it, good to go. Okay, so I'm back in the studio after taking a few weeks off with the family and it's become very apparent that if you're gonna run a business, selling and shipping physical products on your own or with like a small team, taking time off is a little bit of a gamble. So now I've had to work through a whole bundle of stuff that's been ordered over the past few weeks, which I'm really, really grateful for, but it's just a little bit stressful trying to play catch up with that. So uh, it's a good lesson learned that if you're gonna be doing this and you've got a small setup, then you can't really take much time off. So anyway, one lesson learned. So while I was away, I took the time out to make a little design. This is it here, a few details on it. So the coordinates are where I was based when I made the design. We've got the timestamps on there as well, loads of little intricate details. It's been quite popular as well, so I'm really grateful for all the orders that came in for that too. And it's been really nice working with a new screen as well, a new design on, because although I really like the initial design still, I've just been using that so much. And like all the test prints that I did on it as well, so I've kind of got a little bit of a love-hate relationship with that screen now. I've had to get it re-exposed like endless amounts of times as well. And that's an issue that I had as well with this new screen. So. I'm gonna emphasize, it's quite a boring one, but I'm gonna emphasize how important it is now to get some good tape when you're taping up your screens, because this is an example of what I've done to my screen. And it's because the tape has got too much tack. So when I've peeled it off from covering up an area that I'm not printing, it's ripped the emulsion out. So it's really far from ideal. So that's a little tip from me to hopefully help you guys. And hopefully it's something you can avoid as well. So although I built up a bit of anxiety being away from the studio for a few weeks, not being able to ship stuff, not being able to print stuff, um, I've actually kind of created a bit of a pre-order scheme and being able to print everything all in bulk is so much easier than doing things one by one. So I think I am gonna do a few more pre-orders. I'm gonna test the water with that a little bit more again and I might just start getting things a little bit more lined up as well, like start doing the neck labels and the tags on stuff because it's just generic really, so I can just get all that sorted. So in the next video, I'm gonna to put together a new design, I'm gonna test that as a pre-order over the next 10 working days. But as this is a brand that's being built, and hopefully you guys, you understand the amount of work that goes into it, the amount of time it takes, the setup process, the clean down process is a lot. Hopefully when the brand builds, we won't have to do that so much, can kind of print stuff on bulk a little bit more and have a little bit of confidence with that. Because that's the thing I'm worried about most is the wastage. I don't want garments stuck around with a design on it that's not selling. I'd rather have a blank garment and print the design that is being sold. So if you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button and subscribe as well to be notified when the next video drops. And in the meantime, see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.